everyone welcome back so today we'll be talking about azure policies so basically azure policies helps to enforce the organization standards and to assess the compliance at scale so this is what the definition of azure policy is according to the docs so let me show you the architecture that we're going to do today for the lab 2 so this is the one that uh, we'll do today so the first thing that we'll be doing is we're going to create a resource group called daisy fire lab 02 and we'll be assigning a policy which states that uh, the allowed location is UK South. So for instance, if you try to create a resource inside this uh, uh, resource group, for example, let us say if you're going to create a virtual network, which is in East US, so there will be an error because this policy stops that. So let's go ahead and try to do that. So according to the docs, the first task is to create the resource group, which is done by Cloud Shell. So I've already done it just to save the time. So the first command that you will use is this is the one. So this is the resource group that we're going to create, which is in East US. So we have created the resource group and you can just to confirm it, you can use the following uh, command. So you can see the resource group has been created. So once the resource group is done, uh, we have to create the policy now. For that, we have to go to the policy. So you can just search for policy. And we have different options here. So just go to the definitions. Click the definitions uh, under authorizing. So you can see we have different options. So coming to definition types, we have initiative and policy. So initiative is nothing but the combination of different policies. So that is what the basic difference is. And you can see there are different categories. You can select accordingly, which you want. So today for this lab, we are going to uh, block certain uh, uh, locations. So we are only going to allow certain locations here so which will be allowed locations so you can see we have different options so select allowed locations here so i've already created it but i'm showing you how i have done that so you just need to click assign and coming to the scope you have to select your uh, uh, the subscription so basically I have two subscriptions so so inside the subscription these are different groups so this is the group that we have created recently using the cloud shell so you just need to click select and you have to just do it so according to the docs I'm changing the name so it says allowed UK locations since we are only allowing the UK south and uh, this is a description for that. Make sure it's enabled to enable the policy. So once it is done, go to the parameters. And here we have different locations. In this, you have to select the location which you want to allow. In this case, it's uh, UK South, which is this one. Select it and you can directly review and create it. So just go to the review and create and you can directly create it so once it is done you can test whether this particular policy is working or not so since i've already created it i'm not going to create right now so let so you can see this is our policy that we have created so let's go ahead and test whether the policy is working or not for that, let me go to the virtual networks. You can create any resource that you want. So, create, select the appropriate subscription, select the group that we have used the policy, which is uh, AZ500 Lab05. So you can see whenever I select it, uh, East US, it shows that there is a policy enforcement. So the value doesn't meet the requirement on these resources. So you have to change this because there is a policy which is stopping this. So for instance, if you 
select any location there should be an error the error will be gone only when you select UK South which is this one so now we can see there is no error you can just give the name and we can just create it so this is how you can uh, enforce your policies I hope you guys have understood the concept and make sure you delete the resource group so let me show you that one as well so open your cloud shell and uh, run this command so it will be done so yeah i hope you guys have understood the concept of assured policies so if you have liked the video please click the like button below and if you don't subscribe to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and thank you guys